Welcome to lunchtime. Let's sit back and enjoy these fluffy chewing machines filling up their bellies. These alpacas must have an immaculate digestive system. They're chewing so much before they swallow, which is recommended by health practitioners. Or maybe they've got bubble gum. Seriously, all they do is chew. I kind of want to see one of them blow a bubble. You know, when you're hungry, sharing a meal is a good thing. It's about socialising. These rat bags don't understand that though. They're like, fuck you, now nah, fuck you, oi, fuck you. These legends know how to share. This video is an orgy of a feeding frenzy. Yeah, nah, these Ninja Turtle bastards are making out with the strawberries. They're gonna end up with a nasty case of Pash Rash. I don't know if they should be licking the same strawberry. It's not a good year for mixing your germs. They don't chew their food at all. The alpacas would not approve of such lazy mastication. Oh, this dickhead is gonna spew. He knows it. He knows it. Wowee. This is the weirdest stiffy I've ever gotten from the internet. Imagine eating your lunch with someone staring at you the whole time. This hummingbird's like num 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 num. Are you alright, mate? Num 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 num. Why are you watching me? Num 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 num. You want some? Num 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 num. You can't have any. Num 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 num. Screw this. I'm out of here. Seeing a bush baby satiate its appetite is majestic as fuck. It doesn't work for everyone though. This human is expecting to see the same jumpy jump. The squirrel's like, nah, I don't do that acrobatic shit. Oh, yum, a finger. You little bastard. A lot of animals depend on their mums for food, same as humans. Look at all the kids this mum is feeding. One of them isn't even hers. It's a bloody skunk from down the road. This reminds me of me and my mates in high school. My mum got stuck feeding them, not with her teats. Obviously, that's fucking gross. You know what I mean. Look at the mum. She's completely spaced out. She's like, just a regular day, a regular day feeding the whole goddamn neighbourhood. This isn't a game. This is literally a pack of hungry, hungry hippos. Come on, hurry up, give it to me, fuck yeah! I'll even eat the skin, that's the best part. I don't want an entree, give me the main dish. Yeah, watermelon, fuck yeah! I'll have it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, crunchy crunch, crunch crunch, crunch. Only two things in this universe can obliterate a watermelon like this. The jaws of a hippo and the thighs of Olga from Ukraine. Satisfying stuff. This fish is a legend. I love people that finish a meal and clean their plate by licking the shit out of it. It's helpful. All you have to do is give it a quick rinse and wipe it off afterwards. All the hard cleaning work has been done. I'd imagine if I worked in a restaurant, I'd be super duper grateful that anyone cleaned their plate like this. And it's the best part. You finish a meal, you've got all that juice and sauce and shit left. It's delicious. This fish knows it. It's a wise fish. Good to see this quokka is chewing. It's planned based meal. Yeah, no, yeah, that is a top-notch fair dinkum chewing game. Look at the smug wanker. It knows that the mastication mafia is going to be very proud of it. And that's all anyone wants in life, alpaca validation. Overall, having a feed is a necessary, social and enjoyable part of existence.